Okay, guys, come on. It's been a long flight. We're all very tired, but we're almost there. Uh, now, does everybody have their partners? Come on, guys. The buddy system only works if you use it and take it seriously. Now, hold your partner's hand, please, everybody. All right, everybody seems to be partnered up. Now, does anybody need to go to the bathroom? You do, Marcus Wade. Number one or number two? Number two. Can you hold it? No. Um, Chris, can you take him to the bathroom, please? And the rest of us will wait here. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to Japan for the group stage of the 2034 World Cup. And today, well, it is all about the group stage. We are going to be playing Syria, then we will be playing Mexico. And you can see we uh, already have kicked off the group. Mexico beat Syria 4-0. So that means two things. It means that if we beat Syria in the first game, we are guaranteed of getting through the group. And it also means if we can beat them by more than four goals, we will only need a draw against Mexico in the second game to top the group. So it's a big, big game against Syria, and it's arguably one that we probably should be winning. Now, the World Cup itself has got underway. Um, a number of teams have already qualified to get through. Um, so I'll we'll have a quick sort of scroll down here so you can see. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it, I have never played a 48-team World Cup before. So, I mean, there's so many teams, isn't there? I really am not sure that I like this many teams qualifying. It takes away the achievement of getting there, doesn't it? I mean, I know as an Australian that uh, you know, the achievement of getting there is pretty much, that's our high point, because it doesn't usually go too well after that when we get there. But uh, yeah, I don't necessarily like the idea of lessening the, uh, lessening the achievement. Now, before we get to the World Cup uh, itself, we did have two warm-up friendlies to catch you up on against Spain and Australia. The first one was against Spain, so let's see how that went. Spain took a first half lead. But we drew level after the break when Matt Jones got free in the area and finished well. Well, 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 I don't think any of us expected that. We rode our luck at times. You can see they had way, way more shots on goal than we did. But ultimately, we were, you know, we weren't that bad. You can see by the player ratings, we were kind of their equals. Matt Jones, who has been in the wilderness for a little while, we've called him back in for the World Cup. And, uh, well... Maybe you should have been here all along. So that was excellent. The final warm-up game was against Australia. The only goal came in the second half with the Socceroos hitting us on the break. We won, we won. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm Wales manager, aren't I? Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure what happened in this one. They just sort of sat back and parked the bus and just tried to hit us on the break with Forbes. Now, Forbes is a decent player who for a long time I was looking to sign. Um, and that was pretty much what they were trying to do. We rode our luck. Uh, we ended up changing the go with wingbacks and the striker. Uh, I learned a lot from this game, to be honest. Um, so if we come up against something similar, I'm more confident that we would get the result. Uh, but not the ideal result on the high after the high of the Spain game uh, to then go and lose to the Socceroos. I mean, obviously they're the best team in the world. But um, yeah, that was not exactly... Uh, what we were looking for. So that's the warm-up that we had coming in, uh, but it's down to business now as we get ready to face Syria in the opening game of the World Cup. How many times did I click through a screen here? Here we go. So we are the favourites for this one, as you would imagine. Um, let's have a quick look at what we're expecting from the Syrians. They're an attacking, passing style. Now that makes me a little bit nervous because surely that's not how they're going to play against us. Um, have a quick look at what ha what they did against Mexico. We are expecting the same sort of formation. Um, you can see they attacked mostly sort of through the middle. Uh, there's their position or heat map. Just very deep, really, isn't it? Uh, you can see their, their passing network, again, very, very deep. And their key passes, it looks as though they are going to kind of try and hit us on the break, despite being an attacking passing style. Uh, let's have a quick look at the team that we're sending out for this opening game at the World Cup. Williams has been our goalkeeper for a long, long time now, so he's going get to get the nod in Game 1 of the World Cup here. It's Kerry Hughes playing left back for us. It is, well, actually, we saw all these guys last episode, I won't waste time. It's Neville, it's Emin Padu, uh, who is back fit. Not really match sharp, but he is fit, and Gwynedd will go at right back. It's Grant and Bookley going in midfield for us. It's Matt Jones, fresh from his Spanish uh, glory. It is Freeman and Jenkins as the left inverted winger. And it is Marcus Wade, our goal-scoring hero, going up top. This is huge. Let's see if we can get off to a winning start. So they have come out as we were expecting, so that is a good thing. This is with a typical hiding to nothing, isn't it? Chris Venables, uh, he says do it for the fans. Um, let's go with an assertive, if you play your game, you'll win. You are very capable of that. Let's go with that. Let's get some passionate faith going. And yeah, hopefully we can now get an early goal and break them down. Settle the manager's nerves as much as anything else. Uh, national anthem drinking out. I mean, it would be a, a 
proud day for Syria. They're fighting for their lives, obviously, um, having lost the opening game. So, yeah, like I say, it's one of these. It's a little bit of a hiding to nothing for us. We're expected to win, and if we don't, I'm sure you'll all be giving it to me in the comments, and rightly so, to be fair. Um, all right, our first highlight. It starts with a Syrian throw. Can we win that? No, we cannot. Let's see where this highlight takes us. What we don't want to do, obviously, is fall behind. It would be a massive... A massive bonus if we could manage to to win more than oh Jesus Christ well that's not what we wanted let's just focus on winning and then we'll worry about um, yeah then we'll worry about how many we win by that is not the start that we wanted needed or anything else um, yeah I mean it's a first goal at the World Cup for Syria congratulations to them I suppose but yeah I mean, on the back of the Socceroos result, this is not uh, filling me with confidence. Here we go with a corner. Can we get on the end of that? No, we cannot. And are we going to get done on the break here as... Uh, well, hang on. How can Sweden play for uh, Syria? That can't be right. We've won it back there with Gwynedd. Bukley picks it up. Can we go back the other way? With Fred, uh, Chad Freeman. Can he stick in his chance? Throw Chad Freeman. Calm as you like in front of goal. That brings us back level. And, well, that is excellent. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, we will tell them to concentrate. Hopefully, their goal has woken us up a little bit. Gwynedd wins the ball back nicely. Bukley looks up, sees the run of Freeman, and Freeman, he went round the keeper easily, didn't he? It, right there, you could tell he was going to score it. It was a really, really good, calm finish. So, Chad Freeman has himself a World Cup goal. We're back to 1-1, and hopefully, normal service will be resumed as of now. Uh, we've told him to concentrate. Jenkins is being drawn away. That's fine. You've got to mark your man, mate. Let's demand a little bit more here. And we're getting on top in the game now. Can we go and take a lead into halftime? Kerry Hughes there for Jenkins. It's broken free for Bookley for Marcus Wade. And Marcus Wade does what he does. He scores for Wales and it's 2-1. And that is more like it. Now we're cooking. Now can we go and get... Uh, we need to score what? We need to score six. Because we need to win by five goals to be ahead of Mexico in goal difference. Actually, no, because if, if we win by... If we score win 5-1, we'll have more goals scored, won't we? So we'll have the tiebreaker on that one. So we need uh, three second half goals to, to get there. Uh, but really, really good stuff there. Good header from Marcus Wade. And can we get a third before the break? Well, let's hope. We, let's just make sure we have a lead at the break, shall we? Good header away there by Wade. Grant picks it up. He gets it forward early. Looking for Lee Jenkins. He's found him. We've got players getting forward through the middle. What's Lee Jenkins going to do? Can he go himself? He looks to bend one. But it's too close to the keeper. And he makes the save. All right, here we go again. Lee Jenkins. It's oh, it's a lungy tackle. Now, is he going to get sent off here? They went down to 10 men against Mexico, and I think the same thing's going to happen here, is it? It was very lungy. It is another red card for Syria. Well, that should mean we win the game. So that will mean we're, that should mean we're through the group. Uh, what do we want to say to this? Boys, um, assertively, there are men down. Don't let those performance levels drop. We've stressed out Lee Jenkins. Um, you've got... Oh, he's still stressed out. We'll have to keep an eye on him then. Uh, everybody else there, though, is looking pretty comfortable. We'll get back out there, and first and foremost, we need another goal to make sure we win this one, don't we? Uh, neither of the wide boys are having a particularly good game. So let's, uh, let's maybe just do that. And do we want to raise the tempo a little bit, I wonder? And, um... See if that can help us out at all. Let's tell them to get creative, and then we'll start making some changes. We've got another corner here. Jones knocks it in towards the back post. Goalkeeper claims. And now that's surely not the highlight. So what is going to become of this? He's lumped it forward early to nobody. James Gwynard has that. And let's see what he can do. Gets it down the line from Mpadu, who was retreating. Gets forward again. Can he pick a pass now? He gets it across for Bookley. Bookley's got time, space, this block shot. Hughes is there. Oh, Wade's unmarked. And Wade gets his second goal of the World Cup. We're 3-1 up on the hour mark. And, well, let's hope we need, what, two more goals here now. Two more goals, and then we can uh, we can get away with the draw against the Mexicans. So much space through the middle there for Bookley. A little bit unlucky that his shot was blocked, but look at Wade. Well picked out by Hughes as well. Credit where it's due there. And that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And we've come straight back for a kickoff highlight. What? Surely the, the 10 men of Syria aren't going to score against us, are they? They've already got one, and that's one too many. Can we win that, please? It's a flick down. Or a knockdown, as it's more commonly known. <laughs> Come on, boys. Win this ball back for me. Come on. They're, oh, a decent chance, but not to be. 
They're pinging it around a little bit for us. They are, of course, a passing team. We saw that. What we don't want, boys, is to them to get a goal back here. Come on. We, can we win that? No, not quite. They're going to unleash here, surely. There it is. And I tell you what, it's not a bad goal. But that makes it difficult for us to win by a big enough margin now, doesn't it? Our defense has not looked particularly good. Um, I mean, you've got to... Uh, could the keeper do better there? It's not really in a corner, is it? And, yeah, well, this is... Uh, I'm going to say not particularly going to plan. So what we're going to do, we're going to change. We're going to get rid of the wingers since neither of them are playing particularly well in any case. So what that means we can do is uh, we'll keep Hughes and him on. We will do this and this and this. You know what? I'll make these changes and I'll edit it out. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We've made two subs. Gorke is coming on to play at centre-back. We're pushing Enapadu forward as a half-back uh, just to try and drop in and bring the ball out for us. Uh, Matt Jones is going to be redeployed as a Mazella, and Sean Jones comes on up top, uh, and we've taken off Gary Grant and also Lee Jenkins. So that's the changes that we've made. Um, hopefully, the plan here is to uh, sort of clog up the middle of the field a little bit more and then have our wing-backs get forward for us. Jones over a free kick. It's a decent one. It's headed away. Freeman's there. Can Freeman get himself a second goal? He goes out for Bookley. Bookley, oh, he didn't quite find the avenue for a shot or across there. So he keeps possession, which is fine. And Padu brings it forward. Back in field there for Jones, was it? No, there's Jones. There's oh, Sean Jones. And Jones to Jones. Wade can't quite get on the rebound. But already promising signs there that uh, this is going to work for us. Matt Jones with another corner. It's a decent one. It's headed away. There's 20 minutes to play. I mean, we need to make sure first and foremost we're winning this game, don't we? But if we can if we can go on a little bit of a late goal scoring spree here, then that would be all the better. Gwynedd's done well there. Three men on him and he's kept possession. It's there for Bookley. Turn, shoot. Bookley and a Bala Town player has a goal at the World Cup. It's 4-2. Kenny Bookley's got himself a goal. And, well, that should wrap up the game for us now. Surely 10 men of Syria are not coming back from that. We now need to see if we can go and get ourselves two more. Get that four-goal winning margin. Goal scored will put us ahead of Mexico. And take a flick off of uh, Freeman there. It was certainly very close to his heel. But anyway, Bukley gets the goal. We'll give them some praise. And let's see if we can go on with this now. Jones with a corner. Gokade's there and almost a second Town player with a goal. We do, of course, have Danny Gami on the bench, but I don't know if it's one for him, this one. Um, time is ticking by now. We've got another highlight. If we can get one here, it will give us about 10 minutes with stoppages to get that uh, goal that will put us ahead of Mexico in the group. Wade. Marcus Wade. Marcus Wade! No, straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Let's give him some more praise. Jones is not having a great game. The Mazella role is maybe not quite working for him. Uh, all right, so let's get Gami on. Uh, let's get him on as an advanced playmaker on attack. That works for me. And let's see if he can uh, if he can pull some strings in there for us. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, does it? We're into stoppage time. Can we get one and then maybe a second? We're grasping at straws with that one, though, aren't we? Hughes, what's he got? Cross in. It's there for Sean Jones. And the big target man can't find the back of the net. And we are going to need to beat Mexico if we want to top the group. Which is uh, doable, I would say. But we were going to need to defend a lot better. And I'm beginning... Oh, Gwyneth Jones has done really well there. I mean, what's his name? Gwyned, James Gwyned. Knocked down? No. Kerry Hughes has it. Can he do something for us? Can we get two late goals? It's a cross in. It's Jones down to Wade. Oh, it's blocked away. The desperate Syrian defense keeps it out. And that is going to be that. We have won our opening game at the World Cup. We've dominated our opening game at the World Cup. But we haven't done enough to better the Mexicans' results. Uh, you have to say, we're going to be... Have to, uh, what do we... No. Let's build a bit of confidence there. Good performance, but don't let it go to your heads. So Wales hammer Syria, which I suppose we did. We've qualified for the second round. That is that is essentially, I guess, the main thing, isn't it? We are going to be getting through the group, and that's what we needed to do. But we're going to have to beat Mexico if we want to, uh, if we want to top the group. So wait right there, guys, and we'll be back for that. 
Okay, welcome back. We have a big game now coming up against Mexico. We're not the favourites and we need to win or we will be coming second in the group. Um, so we'll have a look here, see what we're up against. Mexico are coached by Juan uh, Reynoso, a Peruvian, a 64-year-old. He's a good manager, good coach. Uh, so we'll see how he gets on attacking standard style of play. Now, unfortunately, we don't know too much about them. We're expecting them to come out in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, I mean, you can see they essentially dominated the game against Syria, and you would expect them to do so. This is the team we're sending out, and we are making a few changes here. Um, it looks defensive, but its I don't think it'll be quite that bad. We're going to put Price in goal. I wasn't too impressed with Williams' uh, last game, although Williams is more match sharp. Let's just stick with him. So we will, <laughs> we will keep faith with Williams. It's Neville and Gurke at the back. Uh, it's going to be Gwyneth down the right, Hughes down the left, and Padu's going to sit in there as an anchor man and just make sure that uh, these two are def uh, protected. Garmi, Grant, and Jones come in. Uh, in they're going to make up the midfield. Jones is a Mazella to try and get forward for us. Uh, Grant just to try and direct the show, and Garmi a little bit. Well, he's he's a good he's a good creative player, so hopefully he'll create some stuff for us as well. We're going to go with Wade and Weaver up top. Uh, a pressing forward and an advance forward. Um, we're going to do away. Jenkins was just poor. Uh, so we're going to do away with him for now. And he's on the bench if we need to change things uh, later on. So they're lining up as expected, which is uh, which is fine. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll put on a good performance here. Pick up where they left off. Um, all right. So let's maybe a little bit of passion. Uh, or we can't say it with passion. Let's give the fans something to cheer about. Come on, boys. Let's go a little bit more passion. We have faith. And we're not getting the most... Uh, green reaction that we could do but uh, let's stick with it anyway we've got some motivated strikers which is good and we've got uh, well we've got a game of football to win don't we um i mean a draw against mexico may not be the worst result but having got a draw against spain i'd like to think we did lose to australia of course but i'd like to think that we could uh, we could do something here um the plan is basically to just try and keep it tight as long as possible uh, and then have some creative players in the middle to maybe do something to pick out our two strikers who should be uh, up there and, and causing some problems. Here we go. Midfield, Jones. Ball forward there for Grant. Grant sprays a pass out. He's got Gwyneth on the uh, on the overlap. Can he get across into the box? He can. It's Weaver. It's blocked. Second time of asking. Third time of asking. Ollie Weaver sticks it away. We're 1-0 up. And as things stand, we are topping this group at the World Cup. We'll tell them to concentrate, and I'm slightly annoyed having picked the team and thinking we were going to play with wingers. Um, it didn't really work against... Uh, <laughs> oh, third time of asking. He's done well to score. It was the hardest one to score, really, for Weaver, but he's done really well there. Yeah, I really didn't pick uh, I really didn't pick a team with wingbacks. Um, and we looked a much, much better playing that way against Australia. We looked much, much better playing that way against Syria. And here we are against Mexico, starting like that and finding ourselves 1-0 up. So, yeah, that's not ideal. But if we can get a second goal, I'll tell you what, game on. Ah, oh, Gami's lost out. Are we just a little bit of a step up too high here for Denny Gami? Here we go with Gurke. He sprays a pass out looking for Gwynard. Finds him. Gwynard goes past his man again. Morty's leaving. <laughs> All right. All right, come on, mate. Let's, let's go off this side. Grant with a free kick. It's decent. It's headed away, though, and this could be trouble. This could be trouble. Oh, dear. Save us, Williams. Oh. James Gwynard, our most experienced, our best player, and he's gone and done that. Come on, Williams. No, he can't stop it. It's 1-1, and we're second in the group again. Oh, that was not what we needed. We'll show some passion. Good penalty. Galindo has got it for him. And it's 1-1. Oh. All right, come on. Come on, boys. We're still in this game. Another goal and we can uh, we can go back top. Let's get creative coming into half time here. See what we can do. Hopefully not concede a second. Oh, it's not the best. It's really not the best. Gwynard has saved us on this occasion. It was offside in any case. And we get into the break tied at one. Ollie Weaver with the goal for us. A penalty for them. Uh, let's maybe... Do we assertively say we're please keep it going? Uh, Jones, don't get yourself sent off, please. Uh, Gwynard, likewise. Uh, no more penalties either, please, mate. Who's not playing well there? Gary Grant is not having a great game. Uh, to be honest, everybody else is doing okay. Kerry Hughes down the left. He's not a particularly good wing back. Um... So that just kind of is what it is. 
we'll tell them to get creative. And well, we need as a, again, we need to win this game. A draw is fine. It means we finish joint top, but ultimately second in the group. Um, what can we do to change things here? Let's demand a little bit more. Jones is looking nervous. Hughes is not having a great game, and neither is Grant. So we'll make some changes there. Uh, let's get the youngster Tim Burrows on to play down the left-hand side. Um, Grant, we need a deep-lying playmaker type. Let's go Bookley. Let's get him on. Um, and we'll keep a sub up our sleeve if we need to change something again a bit later on here. Jones is looking nervous, which isn't ideal. Uh, we've well, we got 15 to play. Let's go attacking. We need to win the game. There is no point getting a draw here. That being said, we will make our final change. It will be... Who will it be? It will take Danny Garmi off, who hasn't had a great game. He's looking motivated, though. Jones is looking nervous. Okay, so let's take him off. Let's get Freeman up in the number 10 role. Um, let's get Bookley as a Mazella. Let's get Empadu... Oh, just stay in there, mate. That's fine. Um, attacking midfielder. Yep, that all looks good to me. Is there anything else we want to change here? Uh, let's be expressive. Let's not do that. And let's not do that. Let's raise up the tempo. Let's pass into space as well. Let's work it into the box. Let's try and create a good chance here, boys, if we can, please. Let's open ourselves up. Go and put some pressure on them. Let's get stuck in. Oh, let's do it. No, let's not do it. We've got defenders on bookings. It'll be so disappointing if it's a penalty. That is what costs us. But can our live wire, Freeman, come onto the field and get us going here? Come on, boys. Let's have one more chance. One final chance. Come on. Don't ground it out to nothing. Oh, what a boring finish that is. Well, 1-1 one, one against the Mexicans. It ultimately means we come second in the group. Uh, we'll say unlucky, boys. And, well... It was a penalty that was around doing in the end. We've got uh, the opening goal. There's positives to take. And, well, so far, so good for Wales. Guys, wait right there. We will find out who it is we play in the second round before we end the episode. So it will be Holland in the second round. We will face the Netherlands. That is not ideal. The 10th ranked team in the world. Mexico got Algeria. So that was, <laughs> that was the difference. Um, that is... Not ideal. Oh, how I wish we hadn't given away that penalty. Um, so that'll be next episode, guys. We will face Holland. And then do we know who it would be if we were to get past Holland? It would be either Uruguay or Sweden. Um, could we face Juan Arias? Is he in the Uruguay team? Uh, no, he's not. So never mind. But anyway, that's uh, what we have coming up next episode. It'll be the Netherlands. Then potentially a Uruguay or Sweden third round tie. Uh, let me know how you think you'll get on in that. If you have enjoyed this, hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time as we uh, look to progress further in the World Cup. Take care.